What's up everybody? I'm just G and welcome back to the channel. So I did it y'all. I finally broke down and yep, I'm making an Iron Man helmet. But because I feel like the Iron Man helmet is a little played out by now, I decided to make the War Machine helmet Mark 1 from Iron Man 2. This was my favorite suit and because of that, I think this is going to be a fun helmet to make. So a build this complicated is probably going to take about two weeks. So for part one, we're gonna put it together and make sure the faceplate opens and closes. That's it. So for part two, we're gonna paint this thing. And then we're gonna add the little details to make this helmet look like the true war machine. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is put it together. That way, this will start to actually look like a helmet. So I super glued the mohawk part to the dome along with the both sides of the ear pieces because those parts aren't gonna move. The back half of the helmet is gonna be attached with magnets. So all the parts inside the helmet to help the faceplate go up and down were resin printed. That includes the servo arms, the helper arms, and the two jaw arms to help the jaw go up and down as well. All of these parts were attached using M3 screws. Most of this stuff will be taken right back down, that way I can paint it later. Now that the AT Tiny 85 board has arrived, we can start to assemble all the electronics. I'm a really big fan of the Alicia boards from Crashworks, so that inspired me to build my own motherboard. Which brings me to this video's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a leading manufacturer of prototype PCBs for whatever project you're working on. Once you load your Gerber file, you can choose from many customizable options from the solder mask to the silk screen color. They're also very affordable. Choose PCB Way for your next PCB project. Link is down in the description. So this is the PCB design that I made. It's basically an Alicia clone, but it has my logo on the back. It's time to solder the AT Tiny to my PCB along with some JST connectors. Once I was finished up with that, it's time to add some code. Coding your board can be very complicated. And for that, it takes a video within itself. Here's a tag to a great YouTuber, Plentiful Props 3D. He can walk you through step-by-step -step on how to set up your AT Tiny. His link will also be down in the description. Now I'm gonna wire everything outside of the helmet first to make sure it's working before I put it inside the helmet. Trust me, that would save you so much time if it doesn't work. Well, everything works. So now it's time to move on to the next step. The easiest way I found to mount the servo bracket was to close the helmet first, tape it up to exactly how you want it to look when it's closed. Once it's in the right position, you can mount the face plate bracket. It looks like this. Turn on the servos. That way you can make sure the servos are in the closed position. Now, go ahead and mount the servo bracket onto the widow's peak of the helmet right here at the tip, just the tip. I just used hot glue for now, just because it's only temporary. I ran into a little issue though. <laughs> you didn't think it was gonna go that smoothly, did you? The faceplate was a little too big for my little itty bitty baby MG90s. All right, y'all, so a quick update. I had to get some stronger servo motors. These are the MG90Ss. They work, but they weren't strong enough to get the faceplate up. I mean, I don't know what that faceplate is made out of. We'll get to that. But I went and bought some stronger, higher rev RPM servos. I'll leave this in the comments or in the description. Y'all can see what kind of servos these are, but these are strong. I went ahead and made some upgrades too because of the, the sprocket on top. Focus. So the sprocket on top is smaller than these ones. So the part that I printed out, the helper arm that I printed out doesn't fit. So I made a modification to the helper arm too. So these are going to work out. These being a bigger servo, I had to modify the, the bracket that holds the servos. Um, before they came with like a little brace piece right here, but they were just too big and it got in the way. Focus, there we go. So I went ahead and just cut that off and now they're modified to fit. 
So let's get these in there, see if I can get that face, make the face plate to close. While I was under the hood, I went ahead and made a few more modifications. I added quick connects to the servos, just in case they break or shut down again, I'll be able to easily take them apart and put new ones in. Also, I beefed up those servo arms too. Now with a functioning helmet, we are good to go. Just lying here on the floor Cold towels, my feet against the door How long have I been in this space? Arms over eyes, help me retrace How did I become the door my ear? Memory spinning around my head Seem pretty cap. So I dropped it down at his feet and I said, boom, were you looking for this? So part one of the War Machine build is done. And let me tell you, I learned so much. But first, let me take this off. I learned so much about coding, servos, wiring, crimping. You're going to be doing a lot of soldering and crimping. So you better step your game up. Now these eyes, they're not gonna stay white. They're just a placeholder until I get my red ones put in. After I paint, of course. Another thing that I'm gonna work on is a better placement for my button. I don't wanna push the button every time I wanna open up the face mask. So like everyone else does, I'm thinking about moving it in the jaw. The only thing is the jaw moves as well. So it's gonna be hard putting it there because it's gonna move away from my face. But I'm gonna figure something out. So for part two, we're gonna take all of this stuff back apart, prime it, and then paint it. Yeah, I know. Sounds like fun, don't it? <laughs> I know I skipped over a lot of stuff in this video, but there's a lot to put in and I didn't wanna have a whole hour long video. So if there's any questions that you need or you have, please leave them down in the comments because I can do my best of my ability to answer each and every question. So if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please leave a like, comment, even if it's something silly, I don't mind. It helps out a lot, trust me. Everyone, please enjoy the rest of your day. God bless y'all and peace out.